Today we'll learn how to do the checkered pattern on Gas Goo's armor. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back collectors. So I'm gonna add a little bit more detail so that it portrays a bit more character and I get to make this piece uniquely mine. In this case, I'll be adding the checkered patterns to the red armor on his claw so that yeah, it stands out a little bit more from the rest of the other gas goo truckers on the internet. So let us begin. So here are the colors we'll be using. I'm creating the first highlight right now. So I find that this is a bit too bright, so I'm going to darken it down with Chimera Violet mixed in with a bit of uh, Chimera Warm Yellow and we're going to begin very soon. So for the first highlight, I'm going to use a broken tip brush and I'm going to create very interesting textures by using this rough tip to just highlight large areas. Alright? So I'm just going to let this continue and you guys can watch the entire process. So we're going to create the next highlight. Next highlight is going to be very very saturated yellow. So I'm adding a lot more Chimera uh, warm yellow in. Adding a bit of uh, Vallejo ivory there. So we're creating this very saturated and very bright highlight. Okay, so we're going to begin. So in this stage, I'll be making the highlights even smaller by using the same techniques. I'm going to create an even smaller highlight where the where the free bits the the whiskey bits meet the previous uh freely whiskey bits yeah that's why I gotta call it freely whiskey bits So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a red glaze. We're gonna use Chimera Red mixed in with a bit of Games Workshop Lamen Medium to create this red glaze. And I'm gonna go all over the red surface. Okay, at this stage, I wanna move from the highlights, painting towards the shadows. As you can see right here, I'm gonna do it in even, even glazes, moving from the highlights, pulling towards the shadows. You wanna do this for every single panel. 
do this over thin layers so that you get a pretty uniform coverage and a smooth finish all right so as you can see over here on a different panel i'm going to do it once more and you guys get to follow through in just a little bit Right now, I'm going to add in a little bit of Chimera Violet into the glaze to create a shadow glaze so that I can start redefining the areas and the forms of the miniature. You, I'm following a pretty similar format with the black armor so if you guys want to refer to this method, you can go check out the black armor which I will be covering it in a lot more detail. The links are in the show notes below. As you can see, I'm still pulling towards the shadows so that the most concentrated shadows are in the shadow areas rather, in, rather than in the highlight areas. I'm also focusing on creating uh, visible shapes so that the entire armor panel is more readable. Right, right here we'll be focusing on creating the checker pattern. So this check pattern, you need to choose an armor panel to be parallel with. I chose this edge, so I'm just very gradually going to start drawing the lines down. Okay, so you want these lines to be as thin and as thin and as straight as possible. You can do this as slowly as you want because there's no hurry to do it. Just make sure that it's parallel to a point and you want to choose another point where it's almost equidistant and start drawing a parallel line you only need to choose one parallel point so that you can start drawing and then the rest you can just ignore the form of the armor already So right now, I'm gonna be filling in the I'm gonna be filling in the checkers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix ivory into red. Okay. So what you wanna create is a very desaturated red, more or less a weird pink color that looks a bit like white. Okay. And this will be the color we'll be using to fill in the checkers. So right here you can be very careful, you want to try to paint within the lines to make sure you get all the sharp edges as possible.
here, I'm going to begin some sponging using Chimera Red. This is to simulate that the white checks have been rubbed, the white check paints have been rubbed off to show the red paint underneath. So remember at this stage, you're gonna do it as lightly as you want, as lightly as you can, and not overdo it. Because if you overdo it, you look very very obvious and unnatural. So enjoy. So right here, I'm gonna put on a bit of scale 75 trash metal and I'm gonna just very very lightly chip the edges away so that as you can see in the previous step, the white paint is chipped off and now after the red paint has been chipped off, you've used the metal underneath. So as you guys can see, this is the final result of the checkered armor. So what do you think about the red pattern on Gas Goose armor? Let me know in the comments below. So if you found this tutorial useful, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And because this helps us a lot, please share this tutorial all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you have, just share it because it helps me grow my channel and keeps me producing awesome content like this. And if you really want to support the channel even further, head on to our Patreon. Patrons get early access and you guys get to interact with me, ask me questions so that I can give you a detailed analysis of how you're painting so that we all get to become better painters together. Alright, so I hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you soon. Stay home and paint SG.